Hi everyone, this is Raja from Charger Games and welcome to this video. Now I'm back after a lot of days. So in this video, what I'm going to do is actually I get a lot of questions in emails, in messages and in YouTube comments, I get a lot of questions. Now, it's not always possible to answer all of these questions and some of these questions are very generic, very generic. Okay. So what I have thought is that I will make some videos on the most asked questions or the questions which most people ask when they are starting with Unity or anything about game development and I'm gonna give uh, my own opinion on that, okay? Now you need to remember that whatever I'm saying is just my own opinion. So uh, before doing anything or before doing anything as I suggest, you can also take advice from others and you can also do your own research and then do whatever you want to do okay so in this video what you're gonna do is we're gonna talk about should you learn C sharp before learning unity separately so this is a question that comes into almost everyone's mind whenever they are starting with unity even in my case when I started with unity I had the same question because uh, when I started uh, learning unity I came to know that I need to know C sharp uh, to code in unity but at that time I had no knowledge of C sharp so I thought that I should learn C sharp separately but I asked questions in different forums and different websites and then I got some answers from the experts that I don't need to learn C sharp separately I can start learning unity right now and I can learn C sharp side by side now depending on how much knowledge you already have or how much knowledge of uh, different programming languages you already have the answer can be different for you now in my case uh, when I started learning unity I before that I had some idea about Java so that's an object oriented programming language I also had some idea about C and C++ so I learned those things before uh, diving into unity so I had some uh, basic idea about programming and I also had some idea about object oriented programming concepts now when you have some good idea about object oriented programming concepts you don't need to waste any time learning C sharp separately you can just dive into unity's C sharp scripting directly and if you have some idea about any other programming language which is not an object oriented programming language let's say you have some idea about C you have learned C so in that case my recommendation will be first you get some idea about object oriented programming language or you learn some object oriented language especially uh, if you learn Java then it's gonna be very very easy or otherwise you can also learn C sharp and it's gonna be easy okay so if you have idea about some programming language before then I would recommend you to first get some idea about object oriented programming and then start C sharp scripting and in case if you have idea about some object oriented programming like if you have coded in C sharp on Java or Java then you already know almost most of the concepts that you will need here okay now there's a misconception that if you learn C sharp you will be able to code in unity directly that's not true I used to think that as well I used to think that if I learn C sharp language by Microsoft I'll be able to code in unity but in unity's case they use the unity's API so whenever you're gonna build any game you're gonna use unity's own API so they use the syntax of the Microsoft C sharp language but unity's API is completely different so if you learn C sharp you will only know the syntax but other than that everything you have to learn okay so now comes the question how you can learn in my case when I started learning uh, C sharp scripting for unity what I did was first thing I just went to unity's official website and from their own learn section I learned about the C sharp scripting now if you have some idea about programming you can definitely go to unity's official website that's a great place to learn and I also have some uh, C sharp scripting tutorials in my channel if you want you can definitely check them out okay let me show that to you first of all uh, if you wanna go to unity's official website you can go to unity3d.com and from there you can go to learn and and if you down come down below here you will see okay this one tutorials and from there where do we have the scripting tutorials okay here 
here you can go to scripting and they have separate sections they have some beginner scripting and they have some advanced scripting sections so you can learn it from there and they have really amazing tutorials and you're gonna love them and if you want you can also check out the c-sharp tutorials on my channel if you go to my channel charger games on youtube and go to playlists from there you will see that here i have a c-sharp scripting tutorial series okay and here i have a lot of videos you can check them out many people love them uh, i hope you will like them as well okay so these are the two places from where you can learn and other than that there are lots of tutorials on youtube about c sharp so whenever you have doubt about any topic then you can definitely jump right in search on youtube and learn about that topic from any other youtuber because there are a lot of talented youtubers who are teaching about c sharp in unity and you're gonna love probably most of them okay now in your case if you want to learn c sharp while building some games in that case uh, this tutorial will not be good I think you should check this tutorial when you want to learn C Sharp but after learning C Sharp when you want to build some games then uh, you might want to check out my course uh, which I have. In my course what I have done is that I have taught how to build games while teaching C Sharp so if you are interested in that you can definitely check that out but before that you should definitely check the official Unity's website and or my tutorials or any other c -sharp tutorials from youtube and after that if you're interested you can definitely go ahead and check out my course where you can learn different uh, 2d and 3d games while while learning about c -sharp scripting okay now i'm gonna link all the resources and my courses as well in the description below and also in the card i'll try to do that and if you want to check any of this out just go ahead to the description below and check all of them out also if you want to start by learning start learning Sisha by taking a book I would not recommend you to take a book but you can take a book as your reference and while learning if you want to go more in depth then you can definitely check that out uh, check those books uh, there is a book named learn C -sharp scripting by unity game development I think I cannot remember the name correctly but uh, it's a good book and I will uh, link that I will give the link to that in the description below so you can check that out from the description below okay so these are all things that I had to say about unity and C sharp scripting so uh, if I have to sum up everything that I have said then I'm gonna say that if you already have some idea about computer programming or programming languages then first of all mm, uh, you need to learn about the basics of object-oriented programming and then start uh, this C sharp scripting with Unity. And if you already have some idea about say, uh, any other object oriented programming language, especially if you have some idea about Java, then there's no need to learn Microsoft C sharp separately. Just dive into Unity's C sharp scripting. And once you have got some basic about basic idea about Unity C sharp scripting, then it's always a uh, always a good idea to learn scripting or apply your scripting knowledge by building some games you can get a lot of tutorials in youtube and in a lot of other websites i'm gonna give a link to the a link to some good uh, tutorials and good uh, courses in the description below so you can check all of them out okay so with that being said uh, i hope this video helped you because uh, these are frequently asked questions and many people have this question whenever they are starting so i hope you guys like this video if you like this video please uh, hit the like button and you can comment if you have any more questions so thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next videos